I am here to learn the truth of the gods, Ingathel, and you are here to show it to me. Please do not force my temper. The demon said nothing. Lorgar stared into its bloated eye, still weeping. Ikor, do you understand me? Yes. Now tell me why you summoned me here. I hear the call of this place, the shrieking of my name through the solar storms. I came to maturity on a world where our ancient holy texts spoke of this dead alien empire as a heaven for humanity. I want answers, Ingathel. I want them now. Why have I been shaped from birth to be brought to this place? What does fate want of me? The demon drooled again. Its gums were bleeding now, and two of its arms were curled close to its glistening chest. What is wrong with you? I am the end of this incarnation. My essence sits uneasily in this cage of bone and flesh. I have no wish to see you die. I will not die. As you perceive the concept, we are the Neverborn. We are also the Neverending. Lorgar swallowed a pulse of irritation, not letting it rise to the fore. True immortality? And the only possible way. The demon looked to the horizon just as Lorgar had done only minutes before. Its gaze milked over, going turgid with thought. So ask a question, despite already knowing the answer. You are here now, because you are not summoned. You are here now, because your life was engineered to ensure this moment took place. You are here now because the gods wished it. In the tangled skies of time's web, I have seen innumerable possible features where you never came to us, Lorgar. And the one you died a youth, golden child martyr of cultures, slain by assassins seeking to restore the old ways. When the Imperium came to reclaim you, they found the world dead by its own hand, lost to the crusades of bitter fanatics. And another, you were poisoned only three nights after retaking the capital in your holy war. For the guards of Colchis's people, you were murdered by the wine in your cup when the poison placed there by the hand of what you call father for he feared you could no longer be manipulated and another you were not the master of your own temper much like many of your brothers in a confrontation with the sanguineous you sank a knife into his back, and you were in turn butchered by Horus for your son. And yet another, you defied the anathema, the creature you named the Emperor, falsely considering it to be human, and you were executed by your brother's curse and Rus. Your heart was cut from your corpse, and a great sorcery of alchemical and genetic power was wrought upon all who shared your bloodline. Your religion was poisoned, reduced to madness, and finally annihilated by the fleets of the Ultramar Kingdom. And another so enough. Lorgar felt pale, and suspected only his gold-inked skin hid that very much. Enough. Please. As you wish. 
The mountain continued to rumble with distant bellows as the world breathed fire into its own sky. Lorgar opened his eyes at last. Why me? Why was I brought here? Why not Horus or Gilliman? They are the generals I will never be. Why not Sanguinius or Dorn? He laughed then, a sneering, private snort. <laughs> Why not Magnus? Ingethel grinned, insofar as its mangled mouth would allow. The gods have touched men of your brothers, and whilst both Avlus and the one of them bears wings upon his back. Is that part of your emperor's genetic intent? Did he not wish to destroy all religious reference? Why then, would he breed a son that stands as an angel incarnate? Lorgar brushed the point aside. Enough cryptic idiocy. Why not Magnus? He is the most powerful of us all, without a shadow of a doubt. Madness. Madness the Red. The Crimson King. <laughs> Ingethel laughed inside Logar's mind and gestured out onto the plains. Us already with us, whether he admits it or not. He came to us without needing to be summoned. And without ever considering the notion of fate, time for power, because that is why all things of flesh come to us. And in five short decades, when the galaxy begins to burn, you will come here in the self. Behold this very world, Lorgar. And fifth. 